is still there. This case is no crime. And he's a maximum security prison. And he plenty of offences where he's removed to the United States. He may not, because of his mental health condition, take his own life. That is what we have done to this person who told us the truth. The truth about yeah. Afghanistan. The truth. Yeah. So, uh, the truth about surveillance and revealed the incredible levels of secret power held by the United States and indeed many other governments around the world. In a different place, in a different denomination, in a different country, he would be hailed, hailed as a whistleblower who told the truth about dangers we are all facing. Well, he told us the truth about the dangers the whole world is facing. And I think we should bear witness to Julian's bravery and his determination and demand two things. One, that he's not removed under any circumstances to the United States. And secondly, that he be released, released from Belmarsh so he can continue his life with his partner, with his children and recover from the terrible ordeal that he's been through. Because being in a maximum security prison is one thing. But before that, as you all know, he was in the Ecuadorian embassy. And it was the credit of Ecuador that we were prepared to give him that space. Absolutely. But it turned out that it wasn't quite the safe space that he thought. It turned out he was under surveillance. It turned out there were people eavesdropping on everything he was doing. It turned out there were people even checking the, uh, the nappies of his baby to check who it was and all the rest of it. For goodness sake. This is inhuman treatment of somebody that tried to bring some humanity to our planet. And so we're here today. We're here today to bear witness to that and show our support for Julian. And there are people all around the world that are doing the same.